We have to determine which of these two will hold the most of the popcorns. So let us consider first the cylinder. Well, that will be pi times the radius squared times the height. And we know the height is 8 inches. Now, we don't have the radius, but we can find it from the diameter right account. Simply by cutting it in half, we would have 5 inches. So that is our radius. And I can plug this into my calculator. Oh, uh, we will. We'll round to the hundredth, but uh, right now that's what I have. Just in case I need to add stuff, you know. I would say that you could be a hundredth off on the answer and still be good. Just depends on what you're using. Because some of you guys for pi, I'm actually using the pi button. Some of you guys are going to use 3.14159. And that's okay too. Alright, now let's look at the box. Or the... Uh, technically we would consider that a rectangular prism. Not that it really matters. The box. So that is just length times the width times the height. And we could say the length, radical is the 6 inches. And the width as well, we could say is this 6 inches, radical, And the height looks to be 12. So what do we get when we multiply all of these? Well, that's very nice. When we compare these two numbers, we've got the prism at 432. And the cylinder at, looks like we don't need to round even to the tenths or hundredths. We can see clearly that 628 is bigger than 432. So which popcorn container holds more? The cylinder. Or is that, do they have that labeled as container A? Yeah. Okay. You could just write cylinder if you want or container A, then either one of those would work.